Orlando Utilities Commission crews worked overnight to replace a 12-foot section of 12-inch pipe that was installed when Grover Cleveland was president in the late 1880s. The initial break Monday afternoon caused a washout ignored by one driver who learned a hard lesson when he drove into it. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of the car! Some businesses on Orange Avenue at Marks and an apartment complex with more than 300 residents briefly lost water service, but OUC restored it and patched up the road by Tuesday morning. Monday's water main break was the third in the downtown area in the past seven months. Folks in the area of Concord and Summerlin know it well. They had two breaks in just eight weeks. After the first break last August and the second in October, OUC spent a week replacing a section of the 20-inch iron pipe that's 80 years old. But the utility insists age is not a measure of a pipe's integrity and no reason to replace one. You're looking at a couple different risk factors. You know, what's the flow rate inside the pipe? How's the, what's the pipe material? And the age of the pipe is a factor, but it's, it's just one of several factors. Tim Trudell also yeah. tells West 2 News there is a regular program when street projects and utility upgrades are planned to join those projects and replace older pipes knowing the ground is going to be torn up anyway. We are cognizant of all of the different concerns that are out there, uh, but just rest assured we will do everything we possibly can proactively to prevent something like this. And if it does happen, we'll respond as quickly and safely as possible. OUC says the average age of its water pipes is 40 years, relatively young compared to most American cities. In Orlando, Greg Fox, West News.